Throughout our entire life, we walked past three to five serial killers, and about 74% of them suffer from psychological abuse as a child, such as the Real Leatherface, also known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that was inspired by true events. In the movie, they made it seem like Brody ain't had a sense that God gave a squirrel. But in real life, he was very intelligent. He did very well in school. His name is Ed Gein, born August 27, 1906, in La Crosse, Wisconsin. When he was eight years old, his mom moved him to Plainfield, Wisconsin. Little man was a certified hustler. He helped farmers in his local community. And he was also babysitting for their bread. No cap. Brody's pockets was on Lizzo. Ed was known for the quiet kid that stayed to himself because his mama Augusta kept him isolated from the rest of the children. She even told him that girls were evil and to stay as far away from them as possible. That's gotta be the lamest shit a mother could ever tell her son. And anytime she caught Ed hitting that head, she'll throw a hot pot of water on his ass. That fucking woman really was the devil. Even when he tried making friends, he was punished by her. And in his preteens, he dropped out of school. In 1927, his mother made him and his brother promise to remain virgins for the rest of their life. His father, which was an alcoholic, passed away in 1940 due to having a heart attack. And four years later, it was also evident stating that he killed his brother and made it seem as if he burned alive in a house fire. And in 1945, Ed's mom died and he became completely devastated. He started looking through all of the obituaries so he could find women that were around his mama's age and also women that look identical to her. And this motherfucker located where they were buried. As soon as they put the body in the ground, Ed ass started working third shift. That's when he started grave robbing. Yeah, my man really did his thug dizzle. Yes, at night, he would sneak in the cemetery, dig up their corpse, and take their ass home. And use their skin and bones to make furniture and other types of bullshit. Ed never had butt, so he had to take his frustration out on the world. Despite everything his mother told him, he wanted to break the rules. In 1957, he had a huge crush on this lady named Bernice that worked at the convenience store. He tried shooting his shot every time he went to the store, but he was too weird and awkward. He was like 0 and 50. The next thing you know, Bernice ended up missing. So the police began to investigate. So they took Ed ass in custody because he was the last one seen at the store. That led them to his shed, which had a very foul odor. That shit smelled like football practice and 12 hour work shift boots. They ended up finding Bernice's body hanging up, gutted like a deer, and her head was decapitated. And there were also organs inside of his refrigerator. And this some bitch also had human remains inside of his house. This some bitch even collected dead nipples and made a fucking nipple belt. The documentary also stated that he would dance outside inside of human skin. Damn right, this motherfucker's slow. Prison was not for this motherfucker. They sent his ass straight to the mental institution. He stayed in that motherfucker until he died July 26, 1984. In real life, he didn't use a chainsaw. He used a knife.